deep within the state of Virginia, there lies a camp of happiness where children from all around come to be happy at Camp Happy Land. And their favorite show is Happy Land TV with your hosts, Matt Sims and Morgan Irish. This is Happy Land TV News. Good evening and welcome to our first episode of Camp Happy Land TV. I'm your host, Matt Sims. And I'm Morgan Irish. We're here all week covering all the breaking news stories that will be happening at Camp Happy Land. We will also be covering various activities, competitions and random events through the week. But first up today, let's take a look at the arrival of some very special people. And that is you, the campers, who arrived this morning for music camp. I took time out to go down and visit and talk to the new arrivals. These kids here are real excited to be here at camp. But moments later, they are told that the camp is closed and they are not allowed in. Bus drivers had to lock the door to prevent kids escaping onto the campgrounds. I spoke to one camper who was so upset he could hardly contain his anger. I felt uh, weird and, uh, and uh, I don't know why they locked up that, lock up all the cabins in. Who in the world would lock up Camp Happy Land? And there was almost a riot at the registration table when kids tried to force their way into camp. Step away from the table. Step away from the table. Well, as you can see behind me, everyone is being registered and those who are lucky few have made it to camp. For those who are unlucky, well, that's just unlucky. Back to you in the studio. I've entered. The camp is closed. There is no more room in the inn. Thank you. And we hope that those campers are settling and having a good time. Morgan? Thanks, Matt. Our featured story today is all about the music staff of Music Camp preparing for the musical activities that will be happening all week. And we've seen them take a whole different approach this year. Our reporter, Katie Collier, checked out what was going on down at the pool. Hi, I'm down at the Camp Happy Land Swimming Pool, where it's Christmas in June. And the faculty brass group is taking their rehearsal to new depths. Camp Happy Land staff being filmed here are practicing their instruments and marching techniques to new levels as they prepare for Christmas a whole five months early in June, but also for the delegates who have arrived earlier today. With the Summer Olympics just over five weeks away, the staff decided to prepare for music camp by practicing their marching and their diving in the swimming pool. Here you can see them getting their routine ready by attempting to score a perfect half-dive somersault pike off the high dive. Attempting to increase their lung capacity, they have increased their intense training and rehearsals underwater in an attempt to get a foothold over the competition. Not only are they getting a more vigorous rehearsal, but also attempting to gain donations by the odd passing swimmer or turtle that might be in the general area of the deep end. Looks like these guys are one step and a giant leap ahead of the rest of this summer and Christmas. Let's just hope they float to the top and not sink to the bottom. This is Katie Collier reporting for Happy Land TV. Looks like those guys will do just about anything to get on TV. I agree. Well, our reporter is down at the Music Conservatory right now with Dr. Steve Kellner, who is about to share his knowledge of the Civil War. David Delaney reporting for Happy Land TV, and I'm here with Dr. Steve Kellner. He's going to tell us a little bit about the Civil War elective. In 1861. Oh, oh, I breaking news. What? In 1861. We are here at Camp Happy Land's Nature Center, where Camp Happy Land's most prized possession, George the Gorilla, has gone missing from his cage and onto Camp Happy Land grounds. It was just another ordinary day down at the Nature Center when suddenly Center Director Liz Schramm noticed that someone was missing. I came down this morning and George is missing. I don't know. Several eyewitnesses saw the escape, and it is believed that they know exactly what happened, but are too hungry to mention anything. I don't know. I was just pulled out of the hat five minutes ago. Listen, honey, I saw the whole thing. That gorilla jumped right out of his cage and just ran off, saying he was going to eat every banana in Camp Happy Land. And quite frankly, I hope he never comes back, because the other day I was in my best Sunday dress, and he tried to pick me up and eat me. That big ninny thought I was a banana. Happy Land TV caught up with other eyewitnesses who had this to say. Well, the zoo 
Zoo keepers have searched everywhere for poor George the gorilla and can't seem to find him high nor low. They say he's harmless unless you are a banana. If you are a banana, please call your local supermarket and call immediately and stay with your bunch. You will get hurt by George the gorilla. Thank you. I'm Rachel Argot reporting for Camp Pavilion News. What a crazy story. Make sure you guys keep a lookout for George. Okay, let's head over to the weather guy, Larry, for a quick weather update for tonight. Hey, Larry, what's going on? It's going to be hot, y'all. Thanks, Larry. Well, we hope you've enjoyed the first edition of Happy Land TV. We'll see you tomorrow morning. So it's good night from me. And it's good night from her. Good, good night. night.